Hi guys. Um, I want to show you guys a little uh, neat little trick that I've uh, that I've uh, recently done on my layout in regards to using some of this uh, leftover scrap material here. Um, a lot of us have this laying around, and some of us maybe even just go as far as just throwing it. But uh, let me show you what you can do with that, with these uh, with the scrap pieces of uh, plastic. Um, I think it's a pretty cool little nifty idea, and uh, can also save you some money. So. Uh, Hang on, I'll show you what you could do with some of this material. Okay, so what I've essentially done is I've uh, cut out the, the pieces of the plastic and, uh, well, just simply cut them off into little sections like that if you need to. And what you could do is you can turn this material into uh, pipes or a piping system for your, for your building or your layout. Um, if you've got a big industrial uh, uh, complex and you have to run pipes from building to one building to another building, well, you can use some of this product instead of going out and buying a plumbing system or those uh, um, kits that actually they're sold as uh, piping systems. Just simply use this. All you need to do is just cut off the part you need and uh, sand down the uh, the tube or make it nice and smooth, which I'll show you uh, how to do that. I usually use a, a, a file or a sandpaper. I cut off the excess, kind of like this here, and then I just simply file off the uh, the excess, make it nice and smooth. So I'll, uh, let me get started on that. Okay, so I've just cut off the uh, the excess. Um, and then the remaining excess, I filed it off using a, a file and uh, then took some sandpaper and smoothed it out. So then it ends up looking like this, nice and smooth. So uh, then from here, little uh, this is the best part. This is a little trick that I've, uh, that I've done on uh, one of my buildings for, uh, for the tubes and uh, it looks pretty good. I'll show you. Okay, so... Uh, this is what you could do. You take the plastic piece, which I've already bent here one end of it, and you do that just simply by putting it right over the candle, not too, too hot, not too, too close, and you can essentially like so, get it to the point where it actually bends, and then once it gets to this point, you can just manipulate it. There you go. Let her cool down. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me here. Once it starts to cool down, there you go. You got a nice piece of uh, curved pipe. And uh, as you can see, if you want to be really ambitious with it, you can. You can make a series of curves, and mind you, I did this with uh, one hand, so it ain't that straight though, but. Uh, uh, let me show you what it actually looks like. I've actually placed a piece of uh, piping like this on my model, and I'll show you exactly what it, uh, how it came out. Once this is done, all you need to do is just simply sand it down, uh, paint it, cut the section you need, and uh, glue it in place. Came out really, really handy. Here, let me show you uh, what I've uh, what uh, the outcome of the uh, of this on my on my model. There it is. That's what it'll look like. So uh, this is just uh, small little sections of piping that I've added onto my uh, my red path building. But as you can clearly see, if anyone who's got any piping systems to be built, um, you can simply easily uh, use the this little trick to uh, bend and curve your pipes. And as you can, can see, it came out pretty pretty good. So uh, that's a little uh, trick that uh, hopefully some of you guys also use on your models as well.